So the saturation pressure, however, is only around 1980 compared to the real value, which is 2091 PSIA in the lab report and requires further tuning, of course. As such, the aim for the next step will be to expand the phase envelope. Okay, we will expand the phase envelope whilst maintaining the match on the liquid density and the GOR. Before introducing binary interaction coefficients, BIC, we will first attempt to expand the phase envelope and increase saturation pressure by splitting the pseudo into smaller constituent pseudo components. For this, we will first use correlations to estimate the composition profile and then lump these constituent pseudo components together into a number of pseudo components. All right, so this will be more challenging. Introducing additional pseudo components increases the granularity. It has increasing the phase envelope as there are now components with higher critical temperatures and lower critical pressures than before. And also the degrees of freedom giving the regression more flexibility to perform matching. Okay, this is the key, increases the granularity. Okay, so, okay, we will have more freedom here. Okay. Now please ensure that the original stream is selected prior to continuing with the characterization to avoid confusion and potentially breaking the milestone. Okay, so that's quite clear. Okay, so from here we will return to the pseudoprops via data, enter composition, pseudoprops or by clicking this button, followed by pseudoprops to enter the advanced pseudo splitting interface during interface will press advance. Okay, so data, enter composition, and then we will go to pseudo props or close, exit and save. We can also use this one, pseudo props. Okay, so now we will go to the advance, this one, okay, advance button. See this with some method, advance. All right. It's quite scary, but it's okay. It's a process of learning. Okay, to get a feel for how the shape of the composition and the number of constituent pseudo components affect the phase envelope and separator calculation, we will change one parameter at a time, okay? And then recalculate the profile and split and perform the quality checks, okay? Here. For the method, okay, here with sun, and then mode calculate to n, okay. Now we will go back to this one. Please now for now the automate should not be performed as this breaks the dependency of the critical properties on the molecular weight, specific gravity and boiling point. And therefore the impact of changing one parameter might be lost in the automatching process. Okay. For further information on how the split profile and split number affect the US, please refer to the chapter characterization process. Okay, so here, method, change one parameter at a time, change the method, or change the alpha factor, or split number. Okay, this one. And then we need to recalculate the profile and split. We will recalculate split, and then set even split. And then perform the quality checks, quick calculation. Okay, you can do that. Okay, let's, we can change the original, calculate, and yeah, 
it will be quite long process okay so you see you can change this one you can change the alpha factor you can change the the split number right you can exercise yourself but considering the long process that we need to achieve we will consult the help menu okay initially the aim will be to try and reproduce the compositional profile from the lab report as this will ensure that the composition is consistent which is especially important when performing compositional tracking however it has to be remembered at the components it has to be remembered at the components do not represent an any real life counterparts as they rather represent a group of components and as such it is possible to divert from the reported profile okay yeah let's say the original profile is usually a good starting point in our case however the composition is only reported up until c6 and all subsequent components are lumped into c7 plus component okay this gives us relative freedom with the choice of profile that we can follow but we should aim to uh, to have a c7 composition that is just below the reported composition of C6. Through this investigation, it can be found that with the Whitson method, it is possible to reproduce more complex profile shapes. However, in this case, the most natural seeming trend is produced when is produced using the Petroleum Expert 2 method. So if you close this one, you see Petroleum Experts. Okay, let's. Let's, let's check by the way, quick calculate, 